Howdy, Shkela guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are back with more mid-season patching this. Yet more of this stuff because there's nothing else in Destiny right now. But we are going to be going over something that honestly got nerfed and it didn't need to. It le legit lost its only piece of usefulness or utility. And it's going to be my boy, my baby boy, the Cerberus Plus One. This weapon, it's an absolute freaking dream of weapon. This is what makes exotics exotic. They got something super unique and they're really fun to use. This is one of these weapons from the olden days that has four freaking barrels. You can see them on the gun, the Cerberus. I know plus one because four barrels because Cerberus is three heads. So it's a four headed dog. <laughs> All the freaking puns in the world, boys. I told you, great exotic. But this got nerfed in the mid season patch that now it won't do as much damage to stasis crystals, which I kind of understand a little bit, but I also don't like because it was legit, as I said, the only useful thing that the Cerberus had. You're not going to really be going into PvP with this. Like, it is a meme weapon. It's still super fun, but yeah, it lost its one purpose in Destiny, and that was to break down the freaking walls. Still break down barricades, but to break down the stasis walls, it's lost its purpose. <laughs> Yeah, Bungie, why'd you kill this one? Legit, go to the four-headed dog into a no-headed dog. This thing, you took its bite away, basically. But we're still going to showcase how much fun this can be and everything. We're going to go into PvP with it now and showcase what the change is like. So without further ado, let's go in with the Cerberus Plus One. Alrighty, so we are going to be on, of course, the Twilight Gap with our Cerberus Plus One. Showing just how tight we can get. And that's the wrong button. I meant to actually show Crystal down. But it's going to be what it's like now and everything. Against your own Crystal, it's not going to be bad, but any sort of auto rifle can really do that damage. This used to honestly legit just absolutely annihilate. And oh my god, that guy blasted me. Guys, help me out. Oh my god, there we go. But yeah, the Cerberus Plus One, this used to have uh, absolute blast walls and everything out of But I think it can still do well at warping against some absolute sweats. Oh my good god. <laughs> but it used to do uh, pretty well when obviously the behemoths were like spamming walls and stuff like that. Now it's still going to be a bit of a meme weapon. Like, it's not bad. But I definitely will say that when it comes to... Oh, funny. <laughs> but when it comes to his utility and everything, you're most likely not going to see this unless you're going to go for absolute kills. Oh my god, get him. Thank you, get me in, get me in. <gasps> I'm so dead. Boys, can we all like group up together? And uh, don't let him run at me. Oh, guys, you're out of it. <laughs> but yeah, the weapon itself, it is more of a mean weapon now. It has four barrels and everything shoots a load to it. It has this reverse fall off going for it, as I said already as well. But it can be super, super fun when you kind of get into the right kind of engagement, which is like mid to close range. It can be really fun when you kind of spam shots out like this. <laughs> it can just be so good to catch people unaware. They don't know you're coming at them. You can absolutely blast them so fast, especially when you're open their Jimmy Jam and everything, open their face. But as I said, there is reverse fall off and you don't know what that means. It basically means that the further away they are, the more precision damage this actually starts doing. So you can see I hit like a 25 there. But if I'm right up in his face, I might hit like a 22 or something like that. Now, I don't know if 25 is actually the max. So it just depends on obviously how far away I am and everything. But it's basically because there is bullet spread on this. Like you can see there's some massive bullet spread. But it's just so surprising. And there's 29. You can see that was the range. <laughs> Oh my god, I missed like every shot. But the reason they do that reverse fall off though is because obviously the further away you are, the less the bullets are going to hit because this has like legit the weirdest spray pattern ever. That's why it's super fun. It's just a meme weapon. It's a bit unreliable, but when it comes to being reliably fun, I'm dead. <laughs> ah, freaking Widowward. But when it comes to re re reliability of being a fun weapon, honestly, Cerberus plus one. It's plus one for that. It honestly is just such a fun weapon to go in with. I wouldn't suggest going into an SPMM game with it because you might get absolutely wrecked. That's why we're doing this. But I will definitely say, and oh, there goes the stack. Yep, the boys couldn't sweat hard enough, boys. They couldn't win. They were sweating and they just decided to leave. Typical freaking... <laughs> legit, we're in control. Freaking, uh, what's it called? Zone control. So there's no SPMM. But as soon as they can't stomp, they just leave. It's the typical thing. But yeah, the server itself, it is honestly just such a fun weapon to kind of go in with. As I said, though, it did lose its like one utility where there's 30 actually for Chris. That's at range. But it will obviously use its utility in the top end of PvP. As I said, this was actually used a little bit in trials when everyone started spam behemoths. It was their go-to. It was like a trusty friend. It was like a trusty dog pal. <laughs> we got that AFK. But yeah, I definitely will say it has definitely lost all of its gusto, I think, for top PvP. If you're using this PvP, you're most likely just memeing around. I'm so dead he's too far away. But you're most likely either memeing around or just trying to have fun. As I said, there's no in between. It will deal with Titan Walls too. So uh, if people are going to spam the Titan Barricades, you can absolutely shred them as well. As, as I said, especially with it being anti-piercing this season, you will absolutely destroy the walls. But if you're going to use this, honestly, to be successful with PvP, I'm going to say right now, <laughs> you're going to have fun with it. But it's definitely not going to beat out like the Rose Hand can or whatever. And boys, leave me alone for like two seconds. Yo, can, can you stop shooting, bro? Let me in. There we go. Free kill. Free, there we go. Free kill. <laughs> oh, drop me up, dog. Don't worry, buddy. I've got the service for you. And oh my god, we are actually kind of destroying these. He just got absolutely wombo comboed by everybody. Oh, we go for this guy. And oh my god, I missed it. Oh, 
Ooh, that, oh my god, boys, boys, boys. Oh my god, we got two. There's another guy. All right, boys, we got the wild. If they peek into us, they are dead. That guy's a one HP. Yo, buddy, do not even try to run away. <laughs> as I said, even as a weapon to kind of spam people out if they're actually somewhat weak, it can be really good. And as I said, when you get up close and everything, you can annihilate. I will say, though, do not stick the catalyst on this. I know there is a catalyst on this. Basically, it will change the rate of fire and everything. Do not do it because it decreased the rate of fire and it does like a more of a tighter spread, but it does like no damage. Honestly, it, it really does actually suck. So I would definitely say don't do it. I'm going to pop a wall. Come on, buddy. Rush me. Rush me. Oh, crystal time. And there we get the damage in. As I said, when you're up close, it's actually not bad. You know what they could add to this? I don't know if it would make it broken. If they added onto the catalyst, good shot straight. I'm telling you right now, it would honestly be so freaking good. And oh, I completely whiffed that. Yo, mini bob start. Thank you. And we'll get this guy. Oh, I haven't used this in a while. Astral Hero. Oh my god. Does he have a freaking Vorpa Astral? He just blasted my ass. What the hell was that? But yeah, they had a good shot straight onto this as a freaking catalyst. Imagine each bullet did like an extra like 19, 20 damage. That would honestly just be freaking so broken, I'd say. It would be so much fun though. It's kind of run around no scope and are blasting people with this. But I will definitely say that if you want to have fun in PvP, considering that Destiny is in a dry spot at the moment and everything waiting for the next season, if you want to have some fun PvP, look no further than the server's freaking plus one. Like, look at that crap look how quickly he just got annihilated as i said if someone rushes you and you're hitting them in the domes you will absolutely blast them out of it but if you do want to have some fun pvp honestly this is like the best weapon to kind of go in with because it will just be super fun as i said do not go into spmm with it but if you go into like zone control you can definitely have a blast with it when everyone's just using whatever the hell they want you can definitely have some fun just blasting people <laughs> and oh what the oh. Oh, T-Rex arms. No, not the T-Rex arms. Why? Why? I just melee him. Just lunge. Lunge like two centimeters in front of you, buddy. You don't have the small T-Rex arms to freaking not do it. Uh, I probably should take off my freaking Horforce and put on the freaking Synthos. But I will, yeah, say. I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's not the most freaking advanced weapon in the world. But hey, it does the job, boys. It does the freaking job and it's so much fun. All right, you can probably get this guy over here, buddy. You gotta run at me like that. Even when you're hitting their crits, I'm telling you, you can just blast people. I wouldn't say it's the most underused, and but the, the, as I said, you can shred the walls. There's a freaking anti-barrier. Oh my god, that wall got destroyed. But yeah, not many people use this. Obviously, I'd say. Oh my god. <laughs> why always me? Why, babe? Why Ninja Bobby? Why? Why do you have to super my ass? Why does an bomb have to be for me? But yeah, when it comes to, uh, I'd say exotics, I'd say it's probably one of the most underutilized exotics probably in the game at the moment, considering that they did nerf and everything as well. When uh, Stasis was a big deal in terms of the crystals and everything, people were probably using it, but I would definitely say nowadays, it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. And yo, Turbo Chicken, come on, don't be doing that. Come on, we're all here to have fun. But yeah, I will say that the Cerberus Plus 1 is probably one of the underutilized exotics in the game. If you see, there's probably a few others in terms of like maybe Skyburner or something like that. And oh, we get the Sky as well. Oh, he just got absolute annihilated. But there is some exotics that you just never see PvP, and for good reason. But I will say that you should see the Cerberus Plus 1 more. As I said, it's just a hell of a weapon when you kind of get it going in. And oh, pop the wall. Get this guy. Oh, we got around. Oh, we actually got him. That's shotgun. <laughs> But when you actually do build into it or you actually do get used to it and everything, it's just hella good. As I said, it's just a fun weapon to go in with. I'm just super gutted that Bungie does nerf it against the crystals. I know it's nice against stasis walls and everything, and you're probably never going to see stasis, or not stasis walls, but barricades. And you're probably never going to see the stasis walls ever again. But I, I just, I'm super sad because it was like the one thing I had going for it in PvP. And it, they just took it away. So if they ever do, oh, that's a shock in the face. But if you ever do buff like Stasis Crystals again, PvP, or even if some Behemoth or whatever, maybe an Exotic comes out, it's got to be super sad that we can't rely on this to absolutely shred the wall. Like, you can still use it, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, Bungie, it had one purpose. It had one purpose in life, and you freaking... You just ruined it. And, oh my god, it's got blasted at the end. Well, that is it for me, and of course, the Cerberus Plus 1. And you can definitely see that the weapon itself, it's still hella fun. I love the way you can meme around with this weapon. Is it top tier meta or anything like that? Not really. I mean, the reverse fall off is super interesting, but obviously it's in a bad archetype tree in terms of 360 and everything. There is times when you absolutely do wreck. You can absolutely annihilate when they're up close and everything. But for the most part, you're most likely going to be using other weapons because it's just a different meta, boys. But as I said, it's still super fun to go in with. And if you're going to come up against people who keep on spamming Titan walls, it's still going to be good against them. It still does really good damage against the walls because obviously it has the four battles going for it. I would love if this actually got a catalyst that would increase. Imagine it's got like the hacking breach ornaments. It's an absolute meme of weapon. It's still super fun, but I'm just so sad at the... <laughs> it just lost its only purpose. It had one job. It had one utility. It had one time to shine. 
in the top tier PvP, and Bungie just said, nah, fam, we, we ain't let you have that. It, it just completely ripped its utility away. It's only usefulness. It's only freaking top tier quality, and it's just gone. It got replaced by basically anything else in the meta. I will say as well that nobody's really going to be used to Ace of Walls anyway, so you probably wouldn't have used this regardless. As I said, they could have just left it. They could have had the servers being its one niche area where it could absolutely annihilate out walls and everything. would have been super cool. But yeah, as I said, overall, service was one. Definitely give it a shot if you want to have some fun and everything. Get used to the reverse fall off and everything. And overall, I think the service was one. It does have usefulness now. I think its usefulness is the meme. If you're not going to meme with it, then it's lost all useless or usefulness. It's just, it lost its purpose, boys. The only purpose now is to meme on people. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like and read some more content, subscribe and fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.